Speaking of highly unqualified folks in office, I haven't said the last president's name in five months. Why would I? I kissed my wife with his mouth. <laughs> but occasionally, there are reasons to talk about the old guy. So last night, I asked you, my viewers, to tweet suggestions of what we should call our disgraced former leader using the hashtag, he who shall be named. And boy, did you good people deliver the goods. Last night, hashtag he who shall be named was the number one trending topic. And we received over 9,000 suggestions. So. Going forward, I will now use one of your nicknames whenever I need to talk about Maralardo. <laughs> Speaking of which, the tangerine ball bag got some good news when Senator Rick Scott of Florida presented him with the so-called Champion for Freedom Award over the weekend. It's an annual award that stretches all the way back to three days ago because they made it up just to soothe the ego of King Baby Coward. And just look how tiny the trophy is. I believe that's the saucer they used to serve Rick Scott his breakfast mouse. <laughs> but it's fitting that they would give an empty hostess stand mint bowl to Tidy Whitey Bulger. And we all know why this award was invented specifically for the danger yam. It's because Scrotus notoriously adores awards so much he sometimes invents them. Yes, we all remember when old Yeller crowned himself Ms. CPAC. So thanks to everyone for your suggestions. I'll be sure to use them in the future on those rare occasions when I need to talk about the Floridian Fondler. <laughs> We've got a great show for you tonight. My guest is actor Daniel Kaluuya. But when we come back, Taylor Swift is going to finally answer a question I've been asking for 12 years. Here. She's here. Stick around. <laughs> 